Market examination will find a question on Taylor's tool life, and if the, the Taylor's tool life is defined as the useful cutting life of a tool expressed in time. Sometimes it is defined as the time period measured from start of the cut to failure of the tool. Sometimes the time period between the two consecutive resharpening or the replacement. There are other ways also actual cutting time to failure time, length of work cut to failure, volume of metal removed to failure, number of components are produced, cutting speed for which the tool failure will occur. So the relation between the cutting speed and tool life is normally given by Vt to the power n equals to constant where n is the index or the exponent of Taylor's tool life and is a different value for different tools material. Normally 0.08 to 0.2 for HSS tool. For cast alloys it is 0.1 to 0.15. For carbide tool is 0.2 to 0.4. And for ceramic is 0.5 to 0.7. C is called as constant. So V1 and T1 are the initial condition and V2 and T2 are the final condition. So we can apply between V1, T1 to the power n equal to V2 to the power n. And from this we can rearrange this term to find out the exponent n. For taking the exponent, you have to take the log of on both sides. If you take the log on both sides, we will get ln of v1 by v2 n times ln of t2 by t1. So, this simple procedure follow in all numericals. So, we get n equals to ln of v1 by v2 upon ln of t2 by t1. Follow this procedure. This problem will, this will you get clear more in case of the numericals. The extended modified equation is given by v t to the power n feed to the power a depth of cut to the power b equal to c so it is known that the taylor's tool life also affected by the feed and the depth but most affected parameter is cutting speed the cutting speed has a higher greater of greater depth of followed by the feed by the feed and depth of the cut respectively so we can rearrange this equation as v to the c upon v to the power 1 by n f to the power 1 by n1 d to the power 1 by n2 and we have the relation given like this. So cutting speed has a greatest depth as compared to the feed and then finally